Hello, this is Kurt Gowdy Shark Hunting, and today uh, we're going to do an extension to the video uh, bait casting reels versus spinning reels. The last episode I did a uh, pretty much just surf fishing reels, like the 750 and the squitter, and now I'm going to do the shark fishing area of this. And uh, I got two reels, they're pretty old, they're about 30 years old each. Um, and they're pretty much sharking reels. You look at this and you say, "How it's so low pri profile, how can it be a uh, sharking reel? Well, this holds just almost as amount of much line as this one does. It holds 300 yards of 30 pound test. I'm considered, it's, I think it holds more. The new ones hold 300 yards of 30 pound test. I think it holds probably 400 yards of 20 pound test. But uh, anyway, I have a jig master here, and this one's made in the USA. This is the original jig master, and then I have a Daiwa DF100. They're bo both. Uh, this one has braid. This one has mono. Okay, I'm gonna do a pros and cons about this. First, we're gonna start off with the uh, spinning reel, the Daiwa. Uh, big spinning reels cast. And you can have a gigantic spinning reel such as this one, and they even go bigger. You're not going to have one single backlash. Although they might cast a little bit less than smaller reels and lighter rods, they're still going to cast at least 50 yards, even 100 on a good day. Um, the thing about these guys, they have a lack of backlashes, and a lot of times they're going to have more drag. This thing has about 33 pounds of drag, and it can really crank out power when it needs to. This one has about 15 pounds of drag, and that's just coming off the reel. When it, if it's bent over, it's about 20 or 25 pounds of drag. Um, this one has a power crank handle. This one doesn't, but the thing is, this one will cast 100 yards, while this one will only cast 50 to 75. 75 is just maximum, and then 50 is normal. Um, they hold both amount of line. Uh, we usually like using 80 with spinning reels. I can use 50 with a bait caster. Um, now, if I were to pick between spinning reel and bait casting, I would say if I was going after and it was just pure line capacity um, mixed with just good old fashioned know how, I'd probably have to pick a Penn Senator 113 wide and fill up with 900 yards of braid. Uh, and it will hold 900 yards of 80 Power Pro. Um, it will hold a lot more line than any other spinning reel on the planet. Uh, it's, and it casts 75 yards on a good day. Um, but I do use spinning reels basically a lot more than bait casters. So I really can't pick. That's for you guys to decide as the viewer. So if you like it, just like the video and leave a comment below. Thanks. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video.